Previously, we have learned how to write numbers in standard form into exponential form. For example, if we have number 1, we can write it as an exponent of 10 with 0 as an exponent. And we can also write 10 as 10 power 1. We can, if we have 100, we can write 100 as 10 power 2. And if we have 1000, we can write it as an exponent of 10 power 3 and so on. But this is called the exponential form. The equivalent logarithmic form can be very easily written that this 1 on left hand side becomes the operand of the log. So this will become log of 1 and this 10 on the other side which is base will become the base of the log which is 10 here and equal to exponent will become the value that is 0. So if we write 10 equal to 10 power 1 in the logarithmic form we can write it as log of 10 base 10 equal to 1 like exponent will become the value of the log of number on left hand side with base of whatever the base of that exponent is. So this will become the log of 100 base 10 equal to 2 and similarly this 1000 equal to 10 power 3 in logarithmic form can be written as log of 1000 base 10 equal to 3. So we see that log of 100 base 10 is 2, log of 1000 base 10 is equal to 3. Obviously log of 10,000 base 10 would be equal to 4. Any number between 100 and 1000 will have the value of log equal to 2 point something. That's value will be between 2 and 3. It's not only limited to the base of 10. In fact, any number which can be written in exponential form, for example, if we have 16 equal to 2 power 4 in logarithmic form, we can write it as log of 16 base 2 equal to 4. And any other number, for example, if we have y equal to a power x, then what would be the logarithmic form? The logarithmic form would be log of y base a equal to x. So this is called the logarithmic form. We can change from logarithmic form to exponential form and from exponential form to logarithmic form. Let's get started to solve few questions and here the first question we have is write down the following in logarithmic form. So let's write down the question write the following write the following in logarithmic form in logarithmic form. Mathematics is by practice. You practice more questions, the concept will be easier on your mind to understand. Here we have a question which is 343. Guess it is equal to 7 power 3 in the exponential form that is given to you. If we want to write it in, expo in logarithmic form, so the logarithmic form would be log of 343 equal, okay, uh, equal to 3 with base 7 here. And here in another question, here we are given 1 over 27. 1 over 27 is equal to 3 power minus 3. So this will become log of 1 over 27 base 3 is equal to minus 3. That is the 
logarithmic form. In next question, this time we will be given logarithmic form and we will be required to write it in exponential form. So here, write the following, the following in exponential form. Write the following in exponential, exponential form. So this is the question and the first question we have is log of 256 base is given 4 for the log and its value is given equal to 4. We know when we were converting from exponential form to logarithmic form that 256 will be on this side and this will be equal to base is 4 here that will be base on the other side and the power will be 4. Whatever on the right side is that will become the power. So if we have another question here and in that question we got log of log of x and here the base is given 2 and this is equal to 5. Now if we want to write it in the exponential form then x would be equal to 2 power 5. Here it is interesting that 2 power 5 is equal to how much is 2 power 5? 2 power 5 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So this is 4 times 4 times 2. The answer would be equal to 32. See, we used logarithmic form to evaluate or to find the value for x. Now, in the next question, we will be asked to find the value of x. Find the value for x. Here, now we are using the logarithmic and exponential form to find out the value for x. And here, the in the first question, we are given that log of x, log of x with base 2 is equal to 5. If we were to change it into exponential form, then x would be equal to 2 power 5. We just did this question and the un what was the answer? The answer was 32. Let's do another question here. In this question now, we have log of x base 64 log of x base 64 is equal to minus 2 over 3. Therefore, we, if we write this in exponential form, x would be equal to 64 would become the base and this would be minus 2 over 3. But we know that 64 could be written in the form of exponents as 4 power 3 power minus 2 over 3. If we can want to do that, then 4 power from the laws of exponents, we know that 3 will be multiplying with minus 2 over 3. 3 will cancel out with 3 and this will become 4 power minus 2. 4 power minus 2, we always write the exponent as a positive 4 power plus 2 and that will become 1 over 16. So easy that we can find out the value for x. Let's do another question here and this time what we have is log of 256 log of 256 and base 2 is equal to x. This time if we convert this into exponential form 256 will become equal to 2 power x and if we want to write 
256 as exponent of 2, we know that 256 we can do small division. This 2, 1, 2, 8. So this is this is what we are doing for small division. 264, 2, 3, 2, and 2, 16, 2 time 8. And if we have 2 more, 4, and 2 time 2, and 2, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is in fact in exponent 2 power 8 is equal to 2 power x. Now we can see that if both numbers are same, base is equal to the base on the other side. Therefore, x must be equal to 8. See, we can get the value for x using whatever trick we can use. Next question would be the last question for this exercise and this is log of 729 base x is equal to 2. If we want to write it in exponential form, 729 would be x power 2. Just like before, if we have practiced enough with the basic arithmetics of numbers, tables, their multiplication and division, then we know that 729 is 27 power 2. 27 times 27 is 729. This is x power 2. And power is same on both sides. And x is equal to 27. But if you didn't know that uh, seven, uh, 27 square is equal to 729, you can alternatively, you can use x square equal to 729, then x would be equal to 729 square root. And 729, either you can, whatever way you do, you can take a square root of 729, that is 27 times 27, and out of this pair, we can get 1, that is 27. So, answer is 27, whichever way you go.